Well, all right. With Judith joining our forces, we've secured some more troops and supplies, albeit not many. Hm. I'm sorry, it couldn't be more. No, it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. How... how so? The key to my plan is Count Gloucester, the leader of the pro-Empire faction in the Alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side, that would basically unify the Alliance. Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. Hmm. You don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross it, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Mm. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Okay. Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But we have to pass through Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with my father? Don't worry. I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? So, uh, yeah, I take it you have a scheme that isn't gonna blow us up literally this time? Preparations are in the works even now. <laughs> So the master tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. <laughs> yeah, Claude, I'm not letting that go. That map was a train wreck where I... Alright, anyways, I'm going to be right back, guys. Um, so I'm going to turn on some music, and then we'll uh, move on to the next uh, chapter. This one. Part two, Verdant Wind, Lone Moon, The Rose-Colored River. Ooh, I don't like that title. The Alliance Army successfully rendezvous with Judith and Alel with the addition of House Daphnil's forces. The time has come to invade Empire territory. All right. Well, it looks like we're ready to go. So I'm probably going to try and cut down the amount of like base exploration I do now because I've just done so much of it, um, especially during the last <laughs> stream, which I don't think I really needed to hang out that much. Um, it's just trying to figure out how to optimize it. And it looks like there's another paralogue ready. Preparations are complete. Now it's a game of patience. As they say, good things come to those who wait. Care to elaborate on this plan of yours, Quad? Can we really do this without battling my father? Pretty soon, Count Gloucester will need to gather his troops in the northern part of his territory. Hmm. Against houses Regan, Regan and Daphne. You got it, Teach. The combined forces of the Regan and Daphnil houses will threaten the northern part of the Gloucester territory. Nardell, that retainer I mentioned, is going to draw their attention. We'll take that opportunity to make our way through Gloucester territory and launch a surprise attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. Hmm. And are you not concerned about the possibility that I may tip off my father? The future of the Alliance rests on this battle. I'm certain you won't betray us. <laughs> I will ensure our success. I know you will. If we can win this fight, then our next goal will be to topple Enbar, the Imperial capital. I said mm. before that my plan was to meddle with the Empire, but I'm going to do you one better. We are going to defeat the Empire, once and for all. But to do that, we can't afford to slip up here. Bear that in mind and prepare yourselves for the coming battle. All right, well, let's hope we can trust Lawrence, but I think we can. Saint Index Day. All right, sure. Let's participate. Well, 
What's the hmm? point of singing practice? It's not going to make me stronger. <laughs> There's someone who's slightly off. Oh well, that adds some color, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Well, I got some more professor points. Oh wait, that's why I wanted to explore. Finding ways to increase that. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and... Hold on. Let's check our... I guess the marketplace. Um, let's see. Item shop. Uh, hmm. Actually, no, it should be the blacksmith. Because we need to repair some people's weapons for sure. Um, okay. Silver axe. Yep. Fix that up, please. Okay. And... Hmm. How many... Oh yeah, you need your silver lance fixed for sure. Alright, let's repair that. Um, hmm. Where is... Ah, there's Seteth. Okay. Fix that. All right, and oh gosh, okay, well, there we go. So that is probably most of our stuff that's been used. Uh, oh, ooh, dang it, I can't do it. But okay, at some point I need to fix that up. Um, oh, that sword. Okay. I need to use that carefully because that's not a lot of uses. Now what about the steel sword? Okay, we can repair that. Okay, and... Gosh. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what, at that point, let's go to the armory. Let's sell... Uh, Shamir, where is your... There, okay. Alright, and then we go ahead and buy... Um, I wish I could change what I'm doing. Okay. So where is the silver bow? Uh, oh wow. You better take that. Okay. Well that's gonna change things up quite a bit. Okay, so let's also check our certifications for a bit. Just to make sure if anyone else is able to promote yet. Nope. Um, hmm. Let's only check the level 30 people though. Oh, she can do it! It looks like, or she can attempt it. She has a 50%. Uh, it's that weapon skill, isn't it? Well, she's getting there? Um... Writing is at B, which that's going to be the one that's going to take a while for her to train. Um, let's go ahead and save. Oh, we have some supports too. Uh, let's save here. Okay. And yeah, let's do a certification. Marianne, go for it. Your time has come. Yeah! Way to go, Marianne! I passed? Awesome! Alright, do it. So yeah, now she can ride around, do magic, and <laughs> deal damage. Oh, that's so good. Alright. So now we got Felix, who cannot. He needs... Uh, he needs to increase his sword and reason. <laughs> His reason needs to increase a lot. Uh, Ingrid? Nope. She cannot. What do you need for that again? Okay, he needs axes? Uh, wait. Okay. You know what? You're kind of weird, Seth. Because he's a wyvern rider that doesn't have a lot of... A oh, wait. He does have some axe skill. But not, like, a tier huh okay well i mean that's how she ha how he has that class um hmm let's see who else is level three? Oh, i mean i already promoted you uh so she can't 
What is on that? Yeah, she needs writing to go up. Hmm. So what is your writing level? D plus. <sighs> okay. Well, either way, let's go ahead and I guess we'll explore. All right. So let's see. Any quests? Supply run, taking care of business. Oh, okay. Let's go there. Hello, Hilda. Looks like people are slowly starting to come back to the town. I guess they feel safe now that you and the Knights of Saros have returned. Peddlers have become more common too, so there'll be food and supplies available. After being run down for all those years, it's really becoming livable again. Okay. So, supply run. Excuse me. Could you do me a favor? Excuse me. Fine. Excuse me. And I'll Could accept that one too. All right. Yep. Thanks. So that quest is there. Uh, head to battle to protect the trade route. Okay. Um, is that both quests? Just right there. I mean, okay. I've been away from Derek Mock for a while, but I came back when I heard the rumors of what you were doing. The scars of five years ago may still be raw, but it's nice to be back. Anyway, I'm going to start up business here again, so I look forward to your patronage. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Um, let's go ahead and get that. All right, hey Anna. Welcome. <laughs> let's go ahead and buy some things from you. Um, God dang. Seraph robe, luminous. Oh boy. Let's see. Is there anything I can sell? Do we got any bullions? Mm, does not look like it. Um, I wish I could sort through this stuff a lot easier because I have a lot of junk. Um, that's, yeah, so that, um, hmm, training axe, sell that, okay, and, hmm, is that the one? Okay, well, either way, let's, uh, come back soon. I guess I'll come back. So, hello, gatekeeper. Professor. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. <laughs> I was talking to some of the Daphnal soldiers earlier, and it seems that Judith has a weakness. But they wouldn't tell me what it is. I got the feeling they didn't appreciate the question. Pardon me for being curious. That <laughs> said, maybe keep this to yourself. Not that she terrifies me to my soul, but I'd hate to get on her bad side. Yeah, I mean, considering everything they said about her, I mean, I imagine. Where is she? Is she actually in my army? Uh... Huh, I don't think I see her. Hmm. Well, that is false advertising, anyway. <laughs> oh, okay, so you guys have some supports. Hilda and Seth. Okay. I wonder how this dynamic is gonna be. Oh, Seneth! Good day to you, and farewell. Oh gosh. Just a moment, Hilda. How are you feeling? Sorry? Oh, uh, fine. I'm doing just fine. I'm glad to hear it. I had heard that you requested a substitute for your cleaning duty due to an illness. <sighs> you really do know everything, Seneth. Just prior to that, you also asked for someone to take your place with table setting. I believe that was due to a uh, wrist injury. It was not too serious, I hope. Ah, you heard about that. The wrist is all healed up, thank you. I seem <laughs> to recall also that you declined to participate in a mock battle. That was due to a headache, yes? I have a very fragile body, you see? <laughs> <laughs> everyone to make accommodations indeed it is a great friend who offers to help without complaint see that you treasure such friends and that you return the faith of course well then i should really be mm. by the way was there something else you wanted it so happens i am on my way to the chapel to offer my prayers would you care to join me 
No, no, I, I wouldn't want to intrude. <laughs> I've already offered up all my prayers for the day. Marvelous. We must always remember to give our thanks to the goddess. It is essential that we offer our prayers to her each day, that we reflect on our deeds and strive to live as she would want us to live. For the goddess sees all that we say <laughs> and do. He's playing that card. Now, if you will excuse me. Of course. Goodbye now. God dang, this man. How is Sedith so scary? It feels like he can see right through me. I guess that's his way of saying stop being lazy. I wish he'd just scold me outright. This is precisely why I try to avoid him. Dang. Yeah, I mean, that was a weird conversation. I mean, like, I knew Seth was with the church, but that was like the first time I've seen him pull that card. May I help you, Seth? Finally noticed me, I see. Good to see that you are so dedicated to your training. Do you have need of my sword? No, this is not a military matter. I would like to discuss the distance you seem to be keeping from the others. Distance? I don't follow. I have noticed that you like to keep others at arm's length. And in most cases, quite a bit further. <laughs> keeping a close eye on me. They don't share my values, that's all. Is that why you train alone? Because your friends do not share your values? You seem displeased. I suppose you're going to tell me, to defeat your enemies, you must have dependable allies. That's not exactly how I would phrase it, but having good relationships with your allies is essential in combat. I am sure you realize that it is easier to bond with people when you interact with them more. There are limits to what one person can do alone. Great things cannot be achieved without allies. <laughs> you sound like my father. You're saying it's in my own interest to make friends? To put it simply, yes. As much as you possibly can. To be honest, I envy you. Because I know what it is like to not have many people to call friends. I wouldn't have guessed that. There are so many devout believers. I am talking about friends. People to speak with on equal terms. You have many friends here. You should take care to attend to them. I'll consider your advice, but I'm not usually one to change my mind. <laughs> ah, to be young. That was a fun support. Alright. Well, anyway. Um, oh, Sedith, you have another one? With who? Oh, with Catherine. Okay. How are you, Catherine? You look well enough. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Never better. That is good. I cannot help but be concerned, given your tendency toward incautious behavior. While boldness can be a virtue, I do hope you will bear in mind that recklessness is not. A moment's negligence can lead to a mortal wound for even the most skilled fighter. You worry too much. If they saw me in action, the wounds themselves would cower. That is precisely the attitude that worries me. Especially given your history. You have been gravely injured before, as you no doubt recall. Me? Gravely injured? When did that happen? You mean you have forgotten? It was during your days as a student at the Officer's Academy. There was an excursion, a monster hunt. You charged ahead and left your fellow students behind. Hmm. You ended up alone and surrounded. You almost died. Do you truly not remember? Are you sure? All I remember is cutting down monsters left and right. That is true enough, but you nearly bled to death in the aftermath. The Archbishop was so concerned for your life that she tended your wounds personally. Oh, <coughs> that was when that happened. Finally! Oh gosh. It all fits together. Lady Rhea looking after me. Now that I remember clearly. That was the first time she ever spoke to me. I was lying on the ground, caked in mud, and... She gently picked me up, even stroked my hair. The emotions were so overpowering that they must have just cleared away my memory of the whole incident. 
So it was during the monster hunt. Thanks, Sedith. That's been bothering me for ages. That is not quite why I brought it up. <laughs> Come to think of it, Lady Rhea hasn't healed me since then. We've got to find Lady Rhea. And then maybe someday she'll honor me like that again. Well, okay. Alright. Well, that's it for the supports. Alright, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, but okay. So let's see. I guess I'll go here to the cathedral. And, gosh, there's going to be a lot of people to talk to. As usual. Not as much as it used to be, though. Hello, counselor. <laughs> a single was around by telling you this might not be such a lonely life after all. Uh... Okay. Alright, I'm just making sure I didn't trigger a new one there. Hello. So let's see, who do I want to train in, uh, this? Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. So what is the support level for Lysithia right now? I mean, not support, but... Oh, really? Huh. So I need more time before I can get a name. Okay, I didn't even realize that was available. Go figure. Hmm. All right, well let's, uh, what was I going to check? Oh right, roster. Um, where is my Sith? Okay, so Faith is B. Hmm. Trying to remember who would be good to train up in this. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, Hilda. Wait, not Hilda. Um, Manuela and Lauren's fricket. They're already there. Says it'll go well. This is no good. See. Me 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 me. Something appears to be wrong with my throat. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. So I got some points out of that. Um, now I need to go and talk to our party members. So where's there's Flane? Judith is a wonderful person, so strong and confident as well. Looking upon her, I am sharply reminded of my mother. Does she act similar? Very much so. Both brilliantly bright and positive, like a warm ray of light. I lost my mother long ago. I miss her desperately. Oh man. Sorry about that, Flane. Okay, and then... Do I have another support? Oh, it's between these two. Oh, fun! Alright, let's look at it. Lorenz and Manuela. Is that Professor Manuela? Her voice is every bit as fine as you might expect from the former leader of the Middle Franc troop. Oh, if it weren't for her drinking and her woefully inadequate manners, she would fit right in with high society. Wait a minute. As my mind clings to desperate thoughts, here it comes, horse, bow, moon, and summer's end. That's my... Oh, no. No, no, no! Oh, Lawrence! I heard you shout. Are you okay? The poem! My poem! Forget it, I said! I asked you for one thing! And I told you it would be impossible for me to forget. <laughs> Certainly, I understand. But setting it to music, and now singing it? <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> it makes for a beautiful song, doesn't it? I'm feeling so lonely and blue. <laughs> My dearest has left. He has gone far away. And I'm here, all alone. And in my sadness, your poem. Well, it became a song for me to sing. It brought me a moment of happiness. I do not know who spurned you. 
but I assure you my poem has nothing to do with any such feelings. It is getting late. We should both turn in. I will take my leave now. Oh, I understand. You're leaving me too. Why? Am I too old to matter? No, I never said any such thing. Why, I am sure there are plenty of men who would prefer a mature woman such as yourself. Mature, he says. I knew it. You're all the same, you know. No one sees the person behind the voice. They just see me older today than yesterday. They say, oh, look what happened to her. Nobody sees my frustration, my resignation to be forever alone. But you do. It's all right there in your poem. Please, I assure you, my poem was not about that at all. It was actually about the ideal of nobility. The sentiment is that someday I know I will get what I want. There is no resignation in it, as you seem to be suggesting. Lawrence. <coughs> I was sure the poem was more about someone lamenting their frailty and the loneliness of time's passing. But that's not it at all, is it? This is the story of someone impatient to get ahead, who is afraid they'll never make it. The speaker in the poem does lament his shortcomings. The road to reach his ideal is long. It is a trial, a test. If he can just find his way through it, he knows he can move forward. So I think you should try to move forward too. Because with a voice as talented as yours, how could you possibly fail? Lawrence, someday you should let me sing this song in public. I think people who are battling through their own trials, they might find comfort in this. And I believe I'm the only one who can do your work justice. If it's like me just well. saying, I mean, okay. You have my assent. On the condition <clears throat> that you do not attach my name to it. Now, permit me to retire for the night. I require ample rest to maintain an adequate level of polish, you know. I suppose, if my poem must be set to music, then it had best be done by such a talented singer. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> that was an interesting support. Um, let's go ahead and talk to whoever's over here. Oh, it's Lawrence. How about that? I would like to believe that I've always made my own decisions. Even so, I cannot deny that some small part of me has always been aware of my father's wishes. Now here I am, concealing our plan, Claude's plan, from his sight. Are you having second thoughts? No. The strategy is sound, and I've consented to it. In this fight, I will finally stand upon my own two feet, independent of my father's influence. Okay. Well, good to know. So, let's see. Oh boy, there's a whole lot of people over here. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot of talking, as usual, but hey. Oh. Hello. Okay, I thought you had something to say. Hello, Sedith. If Rhea really is in the Empire, then we must defeat the Imperial Army by any means necessary. The people at large are just as concerned for Rhea's safety as we are. The sooner we can settle all our unease, the better. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, anyone else around? No? Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, Hanneman. <laughs> um... Man. That's the other thing with this game, though, because I do have to say, like, re... like, completely replaying this game. I am hoping that the new game plus features that I'm hearing about do make it better on repeat playthroughs. Because the one thing that I could see being kind of annoying in this game is just this story part. Like, for this first time through, I'm really enjoying myself, but, like, boy, does this take up a whole a lot of the gameplay. Marvel. You grow stronger with each passing day. Where does your talent end and your crest's power begin? Are they one and the same, I wonder? Most intriguing. Yet, it is quite difficult to draw useful conclusions, given the situation. It is quite unfortunate I did not achieve my research goals before the war broke out. 
So much unknown. Now, I fear I will not have those answers even by conflict's end. So very frustrating. It's all right, Hanneman. It's all right. So let's go ahead and talk to Manuela. Oh, hello there, Professor. Did you need something from me? It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. Are you just looking for someone to talk to? <laughs> sure. I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Making you feel better is my top priority. Whether it's physical pain or worries of the heart, you can come to me for anything, Professor. Okay. Anyway, um, hmm. Let's see, who else is here? Okay, well, there's Marianne over there. Uh, who's over here? Because it looks like it's someone else I can talk to. Wendell, whom we saw at Aelin, was once a renowned general known as the Grey Lion. And yet, as we fought him, it seemed like he was just looking for a place to die. Even if House Roe, whom he served, is no more, he shouldn't have just given up on life. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll find out more about what's going on with the Empire. Either in this route or, you know, in the Imperial route. Well, the Imperial route for sure. I think we'll definitely learn a little bit more about what's going on. Right. Hearing that the Knights of Saros have returned, the monks have also been coming back. We still don't have enough hands here, but we'll use all that we've got to rebuild the monastery. Until the day that Lady Rhea is returned to us, we have to do all we can. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Marianne. Well, legend says that pillars of light fell and ravaged Ayla. I was reminded of that when I saw it. Um, Professor, do you think those legends are true? It's well, I likely. I think so too. I don't know if the goddess really destroyed the valley out of anger, but there are still so many things we don't understand in this world. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, there's Lysith. Hey, Lysith! I'm sure you know this already, but House Ordelia is aligned with the Empire. They face the Empire from across a river, similar to the Gloucesters. Mm. Even so, I refuse to yield to the Empire a second time. The Empire did unthinkable things to my family, and to me. The only option here is winning. Professor, you must promise we will overcome the Empire. Is that where you're... Is that your family? Hold up. Lysith, where are you? There you are. Okay, how's Charon's Minor Crest? Charon of the Ten Elites raises some might when using combat arts. Okay. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Let's also go ahead and um, let's set our goals. So let's see, Seth, you need to increase your axe skills as well. Um, yeah, lance and axe. Okay, and hopefully he'll start leveling that up a bit more. Um, let's also, I guess we'll go here. Hello. Yep. So let's take what's here. All right. So that should help things out. And hello. The Great Bridge of Murden isn't just a bridge. It has the features of a fortress. I believe it was built for military purposes by the first leader of the Adrestian Empire. Hey, Yoskev. It's even older than the <laughs> monastery. So if we occupy the Great Bridge, we'll have to search it from top to bottom. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, let me check. What did you want me to check? Notes. Okay. Remembers a promise made five years ago and returns to Garrick Mach. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Heir to House Ordelia. Yeah, okay. Alright, well there you go. That answered it. So that is where she's from. God dang. Okay. Daughter of a hunter from Sun Village. Former heir to House for all Darius. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. 
Well, yeah, I didn't think to check there. So I guess that's good for, like, extra things about people. Um, hmm. So who else do I want to talk to right now? Well, Catherine and Raphael are chilling in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Where is Catherine? Uh, where are they in here? What? Well, there's Raphael. Thanks to all that food from Judith? I'm full for once. I've got so much energy. Let me at that great bridge of Murden. I'll bust it down myself. Oh, but then how do we cross? Yeah, that's something that's kind of curious. She probably... You know, yeah, that's a... Huh. I guess I'll find out probably from her supports or something. I have no idea. Okay. Well, let's see. So, Catherine... Where the heck... Oh, it counted that? Okay. Of course. I'd heard of the hero of Daphne, but that was the first time I've met her in person. She's the head of a prestigious noble family? Just like Claude. The Alliance nobility is so... odd. <laughs> You don't think she asks like a noble? Of, but I don't mean that in a bad way. You won't find such big-hearted nobles elsewhere. Plus, Judith can drink with the best of them. A woman after my own heart. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, do I want to train that up more? Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. Well, there's Leonie and Judith. But yeah. Um... I have no idea how much farther I have to go with this game. Um, this is also, I kind of, it was there in the title, but um, side note everyone, um, I'm going to be actually moving back up to Oregon uh, after this week, so I have no idea when I'm streaming next. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll figure that out though. Oh, there she is. I don't know where he recruited that man, but Claude's got an eye for great talent. I'm talking about his retainer, Nardell. I've only spoken with him briefly, but he seems to have a fair amount of both brains and brawn, with the skills to match. But there's something about him I can't quite place, like I've somehow heard of him before. Yeah. I mean, what's nice is I don't have a lot of things here. I kind of knew I would only be here for, like, a short period, so I didn't, like, bring a bunch of my stuff. Um, I figured it'd be worth so, clarifying. that was Judith. Just as I'd heard of her, she was an upstanding person. The same Daphnal blood runs through my veins, and yet I feel as though I am nothing like her. I am but a phantom of what could be. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna go with that. So? <laughs> wow, thank you. Okay. So, any other sport? No. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Ah, there she is. Hey, Leonie! Things have gotten a lot more interesting since we've joined up with Judith, haven't they? Anyone who casually treats Claude like he's just some kid is <laughs> not a person to be trifled with. <laughs> I think Captain Gerald would have liked her. I hope someday I can be as strong, kind, and level-headed as her. It's alright. You're on your way there, Leonie. But yeah, um... Well, the thing is, I... I'm from around this area originally, but then I moved up to uh, Oregon for like a few years, um, and now I'm going back basically, so that's fun. Alright, Cyril, you're chilling over there by Rhea's room, my guy, you need to like, chill out. Is it true Lady Rhea was dragged off by the Imperial Army? I heard that was true. Why'd they take Lady Rhea? Professor. They didn't take her to kill her, did they? I don't think so. That's good. We just gotta beat the Imperial Army and get her back, right? You gotta help her, Professor. I'm begging you. Alright. So, who else is left? Ah, Shamir. And Claude. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm really torn on which one to choose at the end. 
It's gonna suck. I'm just gonna be staring at like Shamir and Leone for like 50 minutes. Just <laughs> okay. That's an exaggeration. In the middle of all that chaos, she still had operatives watching. The hero of Daphnel's spy network is impressive. She shouldn't be taken lightly. Yeah. All right. Hey, Claude. If our plan succeeds, we'll arrive at the Great Bridge of Murden unscathed. The important part is what happens next. We're evenly matched in terms of military power, more or less. So if we can just launch a surprise attack... We have the advantage. I wouldn't be so sure. That bridge is almost like a fortress. The defense there is rock solid. But that's why you're here, Teach. No matter the odds, you're the wild card we need to win. Okay. So, let's see, anyone else that I need to talk to? Alright, well, let's go ahead and do the training grounds. And then, yeah, it might be good after this. Um, give or take, like, a few missions. Uh, let's have... Let's have Ignots do it. Why not? Go, Ignots. I regret my decision. I regret my decision. Alright, yep, yeah, we're withdrawing. Okay. Um, Claude! Go on in, dude. Yeah! Let's not light me on fire this time, okay, Claude? Claude, can I change what class you are because I feel you're just gonna take like extra damage my guy <sighs> this feels like an oversight we're all desperate aren't we? <sighs> all right I'll just take that 200 G and I'll just go for this again next time, okay? When I can change him. Can I do that here? You know, I thought they would have made him... Look, he didn't originally have that thing. Oh, I can. Dope. Sniper. Yes. My next step. Okay. I fought and won. Still not as OP as I would like, but hey, he wins this one pretty easily. We're all desperate, aren't we? Okay, so how are we doing on this one? Well, he should live. I'll go ahead and heal anyway. All right, let's go. You got yourself. Yeah, I wasn't really forced to try and change until now, more or less, so... Well, I'm glad Sorry, I won. Alright. 35 HP. Alright, let's go. Oh, I just saw you just, uh, Flame Guy just subscribed to my YouTube, too. Thanks, man! Also, did you get a notification last time, Yoshkev? I think you followed either, like, right after you left or it was after the stream ended. I mean, I, I doubt, I don't know if you even remember whether or not the notification went off on stream. <laughs> but, uh, thank you for following, though, dude. Right before leaving. 
Okay. Alright. So let's see. Yeah. I mean, I didn't stream like super long after that, obviously, because uh, I basically just started this month and I've been dealing with like support combos and whatnot. Um, but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go here and we'll just try and build up my professor points, I guess. Um, Mm. Who do I want to... Okay. You know what? Let's have Hilda do it. Everyone gets strength plus one. That seems like a good one. I'm a decent cook, but nothing to write home about. Don't set your expectations too high. Cooking can be kind of fun sometimes, though not something I'd want to do every day. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay. Well, good job. All right, so I got some more points there. And today's special, uh, Leonie and Felix, I guess. Sure. See if these guys have any sort of combo. That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. That looks appetizing. <laughs> hey, way to go, guys. Alright. So, let's see. Oh, we got a support combo. Okay. Well, this one ought to be interesting. I have no idea what this dynamic is going to be like at all. If you Maybe they do. Go away. You're bothering me. Finally spotted me, did you? What do you want? They say you're the best. I wanted to see your training with my own eyes. <laughs> Spying on people. Is that a hobby of yours? I hope you got your fill. Enough to see how to beat you, at least. You think you can beat me? That's right. See, I was trained by. Gerald, yes. <laughs> So you know. I heard he was your teacher. Perhaps we should test you. See how much of your training sank in. I'm ready if you are. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Sounds good. When? I'll let you know. In the meantime, practice. I won't go easy on you. Oh, don't worry. I'll be ready. This will be fun. Okay, well, that dynamic was more or less what I expected. Okay, let's go ahead and use a full menu a few more times. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, I have a few other people could. Yeah, Shamir could use that. Um, actually, where is Lysith? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. Simple days like today are probably the ones you'll. Okay. That worked out a little bit. And then we'll use another full menu, and this time it'll be, uh, maybe Hanneman and, I want to see where this one goes. Actually, no, 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 no. Which one would have both Flane and Sedith? Because I want to get that going. Yeah. Of course it's fish. <laughs> Always taste better. Do you not enjoy eating when it's just the? <laughs> I love those custom ones when you get them. All right. Well, anyway, I'm also going to make sure that I got all the quests, but I think I did. Um, so let's head up here. Is the sauna ever used? Like I've walked by there a bunch, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, okay. That's the only one I see. Alright. 
Well, I think I'm good to go. Alright, so let's instruct manually. Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and instruct. Um, hmm. So who should I train right now? Well, where is Lysith? Yeah, Lysith. Um, I'm gonna get that sword level up so I can get those stars. Good job, Lysith. Okay. So, let's see... you... I mean, I think she's already rocking it. I should probably increase her horse talents. So it's okay. You'll do good, Marianne. That was not I managed good job! Oh. That was not okay, there we go. The fourth house, the sun. <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be one big fan service thing, though. I feel it, or maybe it's something that's only in Japan. I have no idea. Um, let's go ahead and right. I was gonna increase your axe skills because you really need that. All right, good going, Seth. Okay. Hey, way to go, dude. Alright, so yeah, um, because what he needs for that last one, it's also flying, which, yeah, what were your goals again, dude? Uh, okay, no, he needs to improve his flying, mostly, um, and I think he is kind of naturally increasing his, um, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> We're getting there. Alright. So, hmm. How about... Uh, hold on. You need to really increase your land skills, I guess. Way to go, Hilda! <laughs> Boom. Alright. So, now, um... Oh, look at that. Well, she has wind. Good job. No need. I would like. All right. So she can do some physical, or I mean, uh, some attack magic. Hilda, Hilda. <laughs> uh, yep, my favorite. So, hmm. Shamir, I guess. Work on. Oh, okay. Actually, no. Felix, you have something you need to work on really bad. Alright. Yep, there you go. Good job. Okay. And with that, I guess we just get this going. So let's uh, adjust... Yeah, I'm gonna let them keep doing that. Well, actually, no. Let's have Claude and... Where is Shamir? There we go. Alright! Wait, no, 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 no. Group tasks. Uh, because Raphael and Shamir both need it. This is gonna be a weird combination for doing horses. Raphael, like, I, I, I'm having him go for that... Um, Great Knight class, kind of, but, like, I fear for the horse. <laughs> if you have the mental image, I have just Raphael getting up, just 
Someone has to. I guess you don't have guns back then, so someone just has to come out with a bow. <laughs> anyway, I don't think there's much difference between Almira and Fodland, but everyone else seems to think Almira is completely different. Why is that? Um. I think I get it. Something. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see how Marianne is doing. Dear Goddess, I ask for guidance. Hmm. Professor, you're always watching over me, aren't you? Of course. I've spent my life avoiding people, so I wouldn't have to expose them to this horrible burden of a crest. My father was born with it as well. He's the one who told me to avoid others as much as possible. He said it would be the cause of great unhappiness to both myself and everyone around me. Oh man. After some time, I was only truly comfortable opening up to animals and the goddess. Do you remember the time you asked what it was I prayed for? Things and protection? Yes, but that wasn't the case. Back then, I felt that my life served no purpose and that I was nothing more than a burden. In truth, I was begging the goddess to take me to her. That was my daily prayer. But now I fear the idea of dying and being left alone. I have friends who accept me for who I am now, in spite of my crest. And I have you watching over me. I finally learned to accept the kindness and warmth of others. It's because of you, Professor. Because of you, I've decided to live. Aww. I'm sorry to have worried you, but I'm alright now. I'm still not ready to tell everyone about my crest. But I feel that the burden of my curse has been lifted. Even if I'm separated from you or any of my friends, the memories I've made here will give me the strength to continue on. Should, yeah, you should look to the future instead of the past. But man. <laughs> yeah, for now, we'll look to the future together. Yeah. I'm sure I'll have the strength to move forward if we're together. So sad. God dang. <laughs> oh god. That was Ignaz's birthday. Ah, uh, here you go, Ignaz. Let's do this! Leave it to me. It'll take no time. Finally done. Not bad. Okay. There we go. It's also a weird looking horse now that I think about it. Now to apply this knowledge. Alright. There we go. Alright, time to do a paralogue. Let's do this. Um so let's go. Alright, Paralogue, Eternal Guardian. Oh! Rhea? Five years after Rhea's disappearance, a letter that she wrote prior to the battle has surfaced. The mysterious message ra raises more questions than it answers? What? Okay. Why was... Why is Ray on? Okay, all right, let's go. 